Enjoy these photos taken by our job foreman for quality control purposes as they show the transformation of a recent Donatucci project from start to finished product. Hi, this is Tom Donatucci, and welcome to Metamorphosis Monday. In today's video, we're going to look at some recent jobs where we did your traditional three-piece bathroom, vanity, tub, and toilet. Our first of four look-ins takes us to the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia. I hope these photos capture that this is just an average-sized bathroom at best, a his and hers, where she had hers, and he called us in to do his. We start as always with a complete rip out. After the tub gets put in place, we start prepping the walls and floor for tile. We and the clients really wanted to capture a contemporary look in this bathroom. So we did 12 inch by 24 inch tiles and instead of installing them in a subway pattern, we installed them where all the grout lines line up. Pushing the contemporary even further, we went with two different colors of the exact same tile. Rather than install an old-fashioned soap dish, we design with a recessed shadow box in the showering space. Two fantastic elements of contemporary bathroom design, an extra thick Corian countertop, and a vanity suspended six inches off the floor. In this remodel, a shower door instead of a shower curtain, and of course, no bathroom's complete without a picture of a toilet. Our next stop takes us to the eastern side of Delaware County, to a well-maintained home with an antiquated bathroom, plaster walls, dated tile, and an old cast iron radiator taking up a big chunk of the bathroom. After the tear out, we get the job all cleaned up and start putting in Today's equivalent of those old poured mud floors and walls, permabase. In the old houses, the lead lines get replaced, the new plumbing gets completed, the rest of the walls get finished, and the tile installation starts. Though a traditional home, we can't deny that contemporary design is a force in today's marketplace. For this couple, we took a traditional 24 by 24 clean edge Italian tile and cut it to 6 by 24 a very contemporary design. Gone is that gigantic heater and it's been replaced by a simple piece of cast iron baseboard. We then took matching cherry from the vanity company and made a great radiator cover for it. Do you know what we've made here? We have taken crown molding from the cabinetry company and framed out the medicine cabinet to give it a more custom tailored look. The vanity, plumbing, and hardware get completed shower curtain rod goes in, we punch out all the customer's requests, and we move on to the next bathroom, a pink and black worn time capsule in University City. The challenge here was that the client lived in California, it's her mother's home, it's rapidly appreciated. We had to quarterback the job over the phone, get it in on budget, get it done on time, and make it somewhat generic, all white so that the next owner can have a true appreciation and put their own signature on the job. We blow out all the plaster and lathe, reframe the job, set the tub, get all the subsurfaces in line, and then go to work on the finished product. With all those fantastic bold pink colors that are all the rage today, playing it down the middle with a white bathroom isn't a bad idea. Our guys are gone when the painter gets in, so we don't get to see these bathrooms after they're all decorated up. With good quality products, nice clean lines, and a bold color put on the walls, this home was sold in no time. Our final stop on our three-piece bathroom tour is the Bella Vista section of Philadelphia. I just want to kick myself because these pictures are very amateurish, we don't have the right lighting, the right wide angle lenses, and this bathroom with this marble is absolutely fantastic. A true classic throwback bathroom, the 
it's very contemporary at the same time. The remodel included a classic Philadelphia style basket weave floor, the peppercorn cherry vanity with matching medicine cabinet just completed the look. I hope our poorly lit photos provided some insight to how great a small bathroom can look. One of the frustrations of our job is that folks come in with pictures of these huge bathrooms and kitchens that they've seen in magazines. Of course, those pictures are taken in photographer studios and say, I want that. Well, even with more traditional sized rooms, we can accomplish some fantastic things together.